I'm, I'm innocent. Good evening. Our big story at 10 o'clock. Serial street shooter suspect Aaron Salcedo declaring his innocence in front of a judge. Salcedo was already in custody for a 2015 murder, but now he's been rebooked on 26 additional felony charges, including eight counts of murder in the first degree. Tonight, Team 12 is learning more about his past. Salcedo was a sophomore at North High School from 2009 until 2010. And then he transferred to Central High School and spent one semester there before dropping out completely in 2011. And back in 2015, Salcedo was caught on camera running a red light while on the job as a public bus driver for the city of Phoenix. He pleaded guilty to that offense. So how do you go from running red lights to becoming potentially the most notorious serial killer in Arizona history? Team 12's Monique Griego spoke exclusively to a detective that's helped investigate several of our state's serial killer cases. She has more on their eerily, sim eerily similarities and what may have triggered their beyond evil acts, Monique. Hey guys, well, investigators say that serial killers can come from all walks of life and many times they don't even have a motive for why they're killing people. During his 32 year career, retired Phoenix Police Detective Cliff Jewell helped investigate some of Arizona's most notorious killers. Most serial shooters don't know their victims. They're picked at random. The arrest of Aaron Sacido, the alleged Maryvale serial street shooter, drawing comparisons to serial shooters Dale Hausner and Samuel Dietman, who went on a killing rampage from 2005 to 2006, shooting pedestrians at random, leaving eight dead. Serial killers, once they get that first fatal victim, then that feeds their ego a little bit. That deadly shooting spree unfolding at the same time Mark Godot, the baseline killer, carried out nine murders. Serial killers target people in lower income areas. They go to where the people are that are least likely to, to be a witness and call the police. In 2003, Corey Morris, known as the crackhead killer, was arrested for murdering five Phoenix prostitutes and keeping their bodies in an RV behind a relative's house. He wasn't a high profile case. Uh, the women that he murdered initially were thought to be drug overdoses. He had a lady in there for over a month and she was dead and he was having sex with her. In 2015, cops arrested Brian Patrick Miller, the alleged canal killer, for the murder of two women more than 20 years ago. Both victims disappeared while riding their bikes along the same canal. He has not been convicted with his trial slated for this year. It's eye-opening when you, when you realize that these people could be your next door neighbor. And Phoenix police believe Miller may be linked to other crimes, but as of now, he's only been charged with the murder of those two women. Monique Riego, 12 News at 10.